Yo guys, what's up? Drake Rock back for another tutorial. I know probably a lot of you guys are ready for school to be done, for summer to finally come, and uh, that's just around the corner. I have a ton of stuff lined up for the summer. I got behind the scenes on making a short film, things on set, things on script writing, all of the stuff you can think of, but I need your help, and I would really appreciate it if you guys put in the comments what you want a tutorial request on, and I will do my best to make it 99% sure I will actually be able to make your request as long as there's not hundreds of them. So with that said, let's get started in today's tutorial. I have this footage in my uh, messy room, and basically what it is is a handheld shot of me just walking towards my drum set. And um, this shot is pretty bad. It's really shaky as you can see, but today we're just gonna be using it for tracking purposes to get a really organic handheld feel. What we're gonna do is bring it into a new comp, make an element 3D layer that matches this and get a super realistic result. So let's get started. As always, we're gonna drag our footage into a new composition and we're gonna go ahead and track the camera. Waiting for the camera tracker to finish up. The camera tracker, tracker to finish up. Tracker. The camera tracker to finish up. 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 All right, once it's done tracking, it will saw the camera and give us a ton of track points. There they are. All right, so basically, so I'm not gonna be telling you guys how the camera tracker works. If you don't know how it works, you should probably go watch another tutorial before you start doing these visual effects. But what we're gonna do is select our ground plane by my drum stool, which is really cheap, whatever. And we're gonna set the ground plane in origin. Next thing we're gonna do is come over to the effect and say, create camera. This is gonna create a camera, obviously, that follows our original footage. So what we're gonna do is scrub through with our effect selected and make sure there are no frames where it says unable to solve camera for this frame. And we're all good. So what we're gonna do now is layer new solid and we're gonna go call it E3D and click OK. We're gonna come into our video copilot effects and drag element 3D onto our layer. We're gonna come into our scene setup and we're gonna select our Star Wars pack. And this is a free pack you can down from Video Copilot. The link will be in the description. But it's super awesome free pack and we're just gonna be using this hallway piece to pretend like we're actually walking through it with the camera. So we're gonna go ahead and click OK. And as you can see, there is our hallway down there. Um, and if we scrub through it, you can see it stays on the ground. So super nice that it's all tracked in. All we have to do now is go ahead and scale it up and rotate it. All right, so I've played with all these settings to get it where I want it. Pretty straightforward, all you have to do is play with it and get the right settings. But we're gonna go ahead and scrub through to see if it matches our camera shot pretty well. As you can see, we definitely are walking down the hallway and it's super cool. And we end up at this uh, little light grid here. For now, we're going to go ahead and move on to making this scene look more realistic. And the way we're gonna do that is come into our render settings. And this is basically the most important part of Element 3D. Um, and it's making your models look realistic and your renders realistic. So we're gonna come into lighting, choose basic, and um, scroll down to additional lighting, rotation. All right, so now that I've played with the lighting, I've got it to look pretty realistic. And uh, next thing we're gonna do is head over to ambient occlusion. Go ahead and click enable. And we're gonna dial that up a little bit so we get these nice shadows um, under our objects. Next thing we're gonna do is come into fog, enable fog. And since I want us to be walking into the light a little bit, I dial the fog forward until we hit our little grid. All right, so that looks pretty good. Next thing we're gonna do is go to layer new, adjustment layer, and select that. This is for our color correction. But first we're gonna go and take our brightness and contrast tool, throw that onto our E3D layer, say use legacy supports HDR, and take our contrast down to about negative 10. That's gonna give us a little log footage style it will allow us to have more flexibility with our color correction. So we're gonna throw a magic bullet looks onto our adjustment layer, come into the edit section. And basically there's a ton of super cool filters in magic bullet looks. If you don't have that, I would definitely consider getting it. Um, but a cool one that I think I'm gonna go for is 100 days, at least in this example. So we're gonna go ahead and click okay and see that we get this really nice dark cinematic feel. The one thing I do want to edit though is add a little bit of edge softness to focus our eyes a little more on the subject. So we'll do that and we'll get a nice blur here. Which brings us into our next thing which is depth of field. So all cameras have depth of field and it's something you want to take advantage of 
um, when you come into camera settings. Most cinema cameras are shot around 10 f-stop, but we're gonna head to seven to get a realistic feel. What we're gonna do is come into our focus distance and go ahead and hold shift while dragging to the right to get our focus on the wall over here. And we're just gonna keep playing with that until we get the focus set. That looks pretty good. We're gonna come into our aperture and scale that up a little bit more. That way we get the blurs that we like. Next thing we're gonna do is keyframe our focus distance until about our end frame and make sure that we are focused on the grid because the focus position will have changed. So we'll go ahead and dial that back. Once you've got it set, you've got a pretty much complete shot. Throw in the cinematic letterbox and it looks pretty good. We got a really nice final result and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Obviously this example can be used for an incredible amount of things. Just take your organic camera footage and track it into a scene. It could be used for little product demos or full CG sets like I'm doing now, but either way it's a really basic tool that I've come back and realized why haven't I used that in more examples because this gets a really, really cool result. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. Again, again, and again, please put in the comments any tutorial requests or questions for me to answer. I really want to answer what you guys want to know. So until the next tutorial with Drake Rock Summer or whatever I'm going to call it, I will see you guys next time.